Hey guys, you're watching this one and only. My name is AJ, and we are back on another episode of Mini Tutorials. It's been a little while since we've done it, and uh, I've got this plane design, and uh, I think it's really cool. Really cool little, uh, I don't know, acrobatics plane, almost sort of between an acrobatics plane and like a little private Cessna plane that you get. You know, you, you sort of. Um, you see a lot of people have their own ones, don't they? They keep them at the airport and stuff like that. Really cool little design. Some really unusual ways to use some blocks. So we're going to go over here and go and build uh, another one. That was the house that the uh, subscriber built in the end. Uh, I'll show you more around that on our full episode of Let's Build a City. But this is the mini tutorial series, so we're not going to go too far into it. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to go up in the air. So I'm going to just pillar up two seconds. Okay, so I've got a pillar. We're nicely in the middle of the day now, and uh, we're just outside the wind farm. But we've got our glowstone in the air. And what you're going to need to do first uh, is one get everything that I've got in my inventory. This isn't everything you'll need. You'll need a little bit more, but it's a good place to start. So get whatever coloured wool you want. I'm going to use orange this time, and we're going to place seven blocks uh, as the main sort of chassis of our plane. So one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, like so. We can now delete our last pillar block. And uh, we'll start at the back here with our rear wheel. So we're going to have our rear wheel and an iron bar uh, for like, I don't know, the pole that sort of holds the wheel on. I don't know what you'd call it. I'm not very good with plain stuff. Uh, and then we're going to go under here, place all of these with upside down half slabs. Two more out. Go underneath that. Delete the top two. Little bit awkward, I know. Get a couple of dispensers. Place one there and one there. Now this looks like the engine and I'm using dispensers because they have like a little round bit on the front and it sort of looks like the front of a propeller or something like that. I don't know. So now we can go underneath here one block back from the front and double up like that and leave like a I don't know an incline on each side. Now the front wheels we're gonna do out like this with a oops with a button on either side and then an iron fence on top of each other like that. And then double up on three uh, slabs on each side here. And this is going to be the start of our wings. This is what's holding our wings to our plane. On the front here, if you get a couple of blocks. And then I used fence gates on the last one. Because I thought it gave a really cool design for our propellers. They're really, really funky little shape. I've got the sun right in my eyes. I've got my curtains closed and there's just like this tiniest gap and the sun's going right through it into my eyes. Okay, and uh, I use pressure plates as well to add a little bit more detail. Uh, and to get pressure plates on top of these dispensers, if you place one down there and then place a pressure plate on the side of the pressure plate, it goes over on top. Because if you try and place it straight on top, you'll just access the dispenser. But if you put them on the side, it'll actually go on top. I don't know, it gives a little bit more of a thickness, a little bit more detail to it. Same as here, if you place torches on these iron fences, you will actually, it, the torch will jump onto the uh, dispenser. And uh, I think they look like exhausts, little like exhausts at the side with flames on it. So that's a really cool thing. We put a couple of glass blocks on top as your cockpit. And then, uh, I don't know, like round the back of the cockpit off. Same as on the back here. We can get a bit of a, hmm, I like this stuff. That's not a bad little shape. Either three high or two high. I sort of like the three high one. I like that. That's an interesting little shape. And then for the back here, whoops. If you do three like that or even that shape might be better. That's more more to scale. Whoops. Like that. We've got the back ones. And then the wings. Now the wings are fairly easy to do. We're going to have uh, quite an interesting little shape because a wing isn't totally flat. Uh, a wing actually arches up. Oh, we're going to have to go underneath here like this. Uh, this is more of a wing shape than anything else on Minecraft. That's what has a bit more of a realistic wing shape. But it looks a little bit clunky. So on the back one, we're going to actually take some gaps out of it. But we're going to go out 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, 6, 7... Eight, I think eight might be a good size to start off with at least. Let's go out here, bring these ones back, take these ones away. And now let's take some of these gaps out like that. Hmm. I don't quite like that. Oops. How about that? That's a bit more of a better shape, I think. 
That looks pretty cool. You can experiment around with your own wing designs. In fact, that's pretty cool as well, taking that end one away. Yeah, I like that. I like that as a little design. And we'll do the same on this side. How many did I go out in the end? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the front one, and eight on the top one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then go out this one longer, like so. Yeah, you can experiment around with whatever wing shapes you want. I sort of like this design. And we're going to go out here. Whoops. And I kept the end one. Take that one away. Like so. Okay, and then you can add little detail bits. Like I'm going to get some wooden buttons. Get some trap doors. Uh, even a piece of redstone. A redstone torch on the back. We're going to have a redstone torch on the back. as a little rear light. It's like a little landing one. You can put some uh, redstone or glowstone blocks. Let's use redstone blocks. I haven't done this before. But if we get that and a lever, we can put it right there and have a lever on the end here. And then from underneath at night time, uh, it'll actually look like it's glowing, which is pretty cool. It was on that one there. I done it on there. There we go. And then you've got the lights on the end of the wings. Get these wooden buttons. Uh, we can have a wooden button there. It'll fit there. That's pretty cool. This just adds a little bit more detail. And let's have one there as well. That looked pretty cool. And then have here for like the door. Same as on the other side. I don't know. That's how you'd get in maybe. And let's have a couple on the back here. Uh, ladders are another good detail block as well. They add, they add a little bit. Oh, that that's, uh, actually makes a quite a funky little little paint job on it, I think. What else can we add? Can we add anything more? Maybe some item frames if you wanted some uh, item frames somewhere. I don't know, to add some more detail. Maybe some little um, guns or something like that if you're doing a bigger plane. And another good one is if you're on creative mode, uh, you can use spider webs to make little jet streams. Now, this isn't going to work quite as well on this type of plane. But if you're doing a big jet, if you do a stream like that, and then take some of them out like that and we'll do the same on the other side so it was like uh, uh, get out of the spider web two a gap of two two a gap of two yeah we can do that uh, uh. two a gap of two two gap of three one gap of three one like that now if we go underneath it from the floor it looks like little little steam trails, little smoke trails coming out of it, you know, when you see them. But I don't think it works quite as well with a plane of this size. Uh, I think you need like a big jumbo jet or some sort of jet fighter going over, which we'll do later on in the series. I think we'll get a couple of jet fighters going over. I think that'd be pretty cool uh, in the city. But I think that's about it. I mean, you can always add some more colours. Maybe use vines if you're using, a, if you're making a green plane. Maybe use some vines and that'll look like a cool little paint job. You can add some more levers about if you wanted. Uh, just to sort of make some more rounded looking, most detailed stuff. Maybe uh, a lever there. Whoops. And we're going to have to do the same on this side. Like that. I don't know. More, more detail the better. But I think it looks pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little plane. Uh, but we're going to leave it here, guys. That's all I've got planned for this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And we shall see you in the next episode. Bye.